Okay, this is the final video for section 4.4, and hopefully you have tried to do these two problems on your own. And now we can check ourselves. So, a chemist needs to mix 10% acid solution with a 20% acid solution to obtain 40 ounces of a 15% acid solution. How many ounces of each of the solutions must be used? So first, we should let X be the amount of 10% acid, and Y be the amount of 20% acid. Okay, so now we need to write our two equations. We know the total amount of acid is going to be 40 ounces, so that means however much of X plus however much of Y has to equal 20 ounces. Now, the amount of acid in each solution depends on the percentage of acid in the solution. So the amount of acid in the 10% solution is 0.10 times X plus the amount of acid in the 20% acid solution is 0.20 times y. And our, and I made a mistake. We have 40 total ounces, not 20. So our first equation should be x plus y equals 40, not x plus y equals 20. Anyway, that 40 ounces we get when we're done should be 15% acid. So it is, its amount of acid is 0.15 times 40. So I'm going to solve this one using um, the addition method. So I have x plus y and I have 0.10x plus 0.20y and I'm going to go ahead and do the 15% of 40 which is 6. Okay, oh, and I never finished my other equation. So x plus y equals 40. So I need to multiply the top equation. Let's get rid of the y, x variable, sorry. So since we have a 0.10 in front of x in the second equation, we need to multiply the first equation by negative 0.10. And remember, we have to do that on both sides. When we do that, we get, so here's our step one. Our step two, now we distribute. So we have negative 0.10x minus 0.10y equals a negative 4. And we'll just bring our other equation down. And now we're going to add them together. When we do that, our x terms cancel because they combine to be 0. 
we have a negative 0.10 plus a negative 0.20, I mean, plus a 0.20, which gives us a 0.10y. And a negative 4 plus 6 is 2. So dividing by 0.10, we have y equals 20 ounces. Okay, now we can go back and substitute. So we know that x plus y equals 40. We know y is 20. So x plus 20 is 40. And now let's just solve that for x. Oops, that's a minus 20, sorry. So we get x equals 20 ounces. So our mixture needs 20 ounces of 10% acid solution and 20 ounces of 20% acid solution to get 40 ounces of 15% acid solution. Okay, let's take a look at the last one now. A certain gourmet grocer received a double shipment of cashews and peanuts. When they had difficulty selling the peanuts, the grocer decided to mix peanuts selling for $1.88 per pound with cashews selling for $4.20 per pound. They want a mixture that has a total of 160 pounds and they're going to sell it for $2.75 per pound. So how many pounds of each should be mixed? So let's let x equal the weight. Sorry, we should really say weight. The weight of peanuts. And we'll let y equal the weight of cashews. So let's see our equations we have. We know we have 160 pounds total, so the weight of peanuts plus the weight of cashews has to equal 160. Now the price of peanuts, well of x amount of peanuts, plus the price of y amount of cashews needs to equal the total price of the 160 pounds if we sell it at 275 a pound. So let's solve this. We have, I'm going to do this one by elimination also. Sorry, the addition rule. I learned it as the elimination rule. So x plus y equals 160 and $1.88x plus 420 y equals, and I'm going to go ahead and do the 160 times 275, which gives us $440 total. Okay, what do we need to multiply 
the top equation by if we want one of our variables to cancel out. Well, since we have a positive 1.88x, let's multiply by negative 1.88. So remember, we have to multiply both sides of the equation by that. Okay, there's our first step. So we get negative 1.88x minus 1.88y equals negative 300.80. And we just bring our other equation down unchanged. Now we're going to add these two together. So when we add them together, we get the x's cancel each other out and become zero. And we have 2.32y equals 139.2 and so then divide by 2.32 on both sides. And we get, we should have 60 pounds of cashews. Now we can go back and plug in and find the number of peanuts because the weight of the peanuts plus the weight of the cashews has to equal 160. And we know the weight of the cashews is 60 pounds. So I just substituted in here. So solving for the peanuts, we have the weight of the peanuts should be 100 pounds. So we need 100 pounds of peanuts mixed with 60 pounds of cashews. All right, that's the end of section 4.4. We'll pick up again with section 9.1.